I'm Ben Ward and I'm the editor for Without Color. I think I got involved with video when I had nothing else to do and I had a camera and my brother and I, it was mostly like me and my brother wanted to make like cool YouTube videos. I think YouTube was the thing that like pushed me to get into video and we saw like people doing like cool stunts or like riding bikes and we like, it was like, oh, we do that. Let's just film it and make a video and like put a crappy song behind it and then post it online and show our friends. I just happened to want to edit the videos and it was like after a while I kind of realized like oh I'd kind of enjoy doing this and then from there is like I took on my own like side projects and just it was definitely like a labor of love like I really enjoyed doing it and I'm like really blessed to say that I still enjoy editing video. I got involved with Blue Shoe um, last fall when I was taking a class with Kyle he was our instructor and I was taking it with Matt and Will and basically after the uh, after the class Kyle came up to us and he said like, hey, I have this like vision of going to India someday. And we were all kind of just like, yeah, like, let's do it. We're on board. Didn't really know what we were signing up for, but we knew everybody in the group and everybody had um, a lot of promise and a lot of um, passion behind whatever project was up ahead. Everybody in the company is just awesome. Like I couldn't ask for a better group of guys to work with. And on top of that, I think the people that have funded us, um, you know, just getting to meet some of those people and like see their their passion behind it. Once we showed them what we want to do, just seeing their eyes light up and, you know, saying we want to help. Just like that is such a big uh, push for me. And it's like, man, these people have donated money to us and like they believe in us. And just having that as kind of like, uh, you know, it's like our backbone. India is a huge country, so it's really hard to generalize and say like widows are being mistreated in India because every part of India is different but there are definitely poorer parts of India where widows are basically being kicked to the curb and their families don't want to care for them nobody wants to care for them so a lot of them end up going to beg on the streets whether that be in Vrindavan or different cities so basically what we want to do with this documentary is just tell their story because they don't have a voice and what we want to do is just give them a voice People are realizing there's problems in India with gender and with, you know, any social problems. And it's like a lot of light is being shed on that. And maybe a lot of light isn't being shed on the widows in particular yet. But I think that's our role. And I think just like if potential funders know that, they know like we're in a really good spot to tell the stories of these widows because nobody else is doing it right now. And it's a story that deserves to be told. And I think... I honestly do believe in like a decade, like we'll look at look back at this story and people are going to be like, man, like we're really glad that, you know, the rest of the world found out about that because it's huge and like people need to know about it.